I have a good guy. Yeah, but you never want to see the devil inside. Oh, God. Somebody actually bought one of those wish grade type of hoodies off Facebook. Jesus, dude. I thought those were just pictures. There's like a million better ways to waste $50. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash nice guys. And if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and to see more videos like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. Okie dokie, let's go. Women use dating sites as a mobile game with no intention on meeting up. Men should delete their profile so women have to seek out the intention in real life. Women get their attention fixed from dating sites and that when they see someone has matched with them, they take that hit of dopamine without realizing there is a real life man waiting for a response. And then they play this game where you have to be interesting with the first sentence or you are out. They are like dopamine addicts. I have seen women use dating sites in real life. Even dudes hotter than me have a tough time and I'm a good looking guy. I get matches but you can tell it's some cute game to these women. What men should do is delete all dating sites from their phone and then these dopamine addicts will start seeking attention elsewhere they'll start getting desperate enough to go out into public places and talk to new people again dude you say you gotta be interesting in the first sentence i'm sorry but you can't be more charismatic than a natural d20 role with the phrase hey because i can guarantee you for a fact that don't make him moister than an oyster females would rather get with a man with aids than a virgin because a man with AIDS has more experience. And I already know this message you your goal is to get innocent men to message you so you can post them on r slash nice guys or r slash incels in action to get free karma. You're effing disgusting, you effing B. It is what it is. You effing birch. A F off a B T H C. Okay, first off, I'm not gonna be intimidated by some dude named frickin' Dudley. Secondly, uh, there's a thing of, uh, you already knew you were going to be stupid, but you were stupid anyways. This, this is quite literally the same thing as the dude saying, the stovetop is hot, and then just slapping it. Hello, love. Hey, I must say, I think you are a very pretty. It seems classy. Thank you, and what do you mean? You're profile is very modest. You seem like a modest girl. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Not sure exactly what that means, but sure. Means to yourself, or just in general, a quiet person. Means you don't come off as a slot, love. I mean like that. <laughs> Wanna see something? See what? Snap. The way you describe women is really creepy. Don't judge women like that. Hello, well, what? Okay, it was a compliment. It's a better than just showing you my D or asking for pics. I respect females. Uh, thanks for the advice. Yeah, it's a compliment to say, oh yeah, you're not this, by the way. I can guarantee you that conversation would have went in a whole different direction if you just didn't say it at all. Also, seriously, Bread, what is it with the names of the dudes in this video? Just let me know down below which one was less intimidating. Bread or frickin' Dudley? I have totally lost all interest in dating ever again. I have been living in Germany for the past four years. I moved here from New York City after I finished college, and I can honestly say I have lost all interest in women just because of German women. I do not hate women, but I really am fed up with them and am done. I will never approach or give compliments to them ever again. I mean, I walk by and say, a nice jacket or I wave at them if they are in a car and I am on my bike and all they do is just give me the stink eye. Like, it's effing compliment and I'm just being friendly. Not every guy wants to sleep with you. All this at age of 25. I mean, me, I am. One, rich, well, financially secure. Two, got a job at a stable industry and a Fortune 500 company. Three, good looking, six foot tall, good shape, can be better. Well, groomed, good hygiene, strong jawline, well dressed, fully set of hair. Four, got my own apartment in the city. Five, educated. Six, 
Six got great people skills everywhere I go. People love me and always miss me when I am not around. And seven, very friendly and genuine. I have learned so much at age of 25 that I am basically 60 years old inside. Like, I could be a grandpa telling their grandkids words of wisdom. Since I did not grow up in Germany, I have no social circle. Therefore, I am forced to either cold approach since I do not use online dating. But every time I go out, I either get rejected, ignored, time wasted by some woman who give me a false hope, but when I ask for the number, she says no or has a boyfriend. Like, I have never had this issue with an American woman. If she does not like me, she will say so from the very beginning. To me, time is more valuable than money because you will never get it back back. But these stupid H's don't understand that. This toxicity of women has really damaged me both physically and mentally. I am basically broken now, not just because of women's rejections and ghosting, but because of my traumatizing childhood. I have been hurt, betrayed, bullied, rejected, ignored, ghosted, humiliated, and made fun of so much in my life that almost nothing can hurt me anymore. All women want nowadays is just attention. Like, they dress up like some street ages. 500 guys come at them and that they wonder, why can't men just leave me alone? And what pisses me off the most is they choose those ugly, poor, unsuccessful, rude, arrogant a-holes because they think that, okay, maybe I can fix them, and once I do, I can control them and make him my slave. And then she cannot do any of that, gets hurt, and asks, why can I not find a nice guy? We men are not the problem. It's you. Now I do not even care anymore. I could go on and on forever, literally contradicting the first half of that sentence, but I am just done, and officially going my own way. Women can act however they want, but I am not going to give them any more attention, or even the time of day. Even if they ask me for directions, I will just ignore them. I cannot live a life without them. They exist, but I won't socialize with them unless I have to work purposes. Now I am focusing on my life and becoming as rich and successful as I can be. It will be like Biggie Smalls said. Girls used to diss me and now they write letters because they miss me. I love this country and the money is great, but I really despise the women. The men here are super cool and chill and nice to talk to and will never give you ass for giving a compliment. A guy just randomly spoke to me because he heard my accent and asked if I am American. We spoke for a while and I told him nice mustache, look like a young Tom Selleck, and he was really grateful and offered me a beer with him and his friend. It is only German women. I have never had this issue with American or Canadian women. My friend who was born and raised here told me, yeah, from a young age, German girls go for either black or Middle Eastern guys because they are more dominant outgoing, aggressive, and extroverted, whereas German guys are nice, soft, friendly, closed, and weak. To summarize, women can behave how they want, but that doesn't mean I have to put up with it. I am done with this post and with females. Thanks. Well, you're kind of right. You don't have to put up with it, but honestly, also, so do they. They honestly don't have to put up with your whiny little habits either. And also, way to go saying I'm not going to deal with any more of this, and then writing several Seven more paragraphs. Really wanted to be that dude that does excessive talking just to get the last word into the discussion, don't you? How to just get oral airs from a first date. I'm a pretty cute, always respectful guy who frequently uses dating apps such as Tinder, etc. There have been numerous occasions where I have brought an unattractive first date back to my 
fireplace, and we were sitting on the couch watching a movie. I know they are into me, but because I am unattracted to them, I can't bring myself to have S with them, or even go as far as making out. However, I would love to get oral from these girls, with nothing at all on my end expected in return. A lot of these girls I bring back say they are really into S. Some into feta cheese, but etc. But I can never bring myself to just say, please give me a beige. Maybe I should just be this forthcoming about it. I think my main reservation is, as much as I just want oral, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. A girl doesn't have to be the smartest light bulb to understand that if a guy wants a beige, but no kissing or S, that he does not find her attractive. But conversely, there are plenty of girls out there who enjoy making guys happy. But it's still hard and awkward for me to unsubtly ask for the beige. Look, dude, you, your whole problem can be just solved with 60 bucks in an Amazon account and absolutely no mental awkwardness aside from the one guy at the Amazon Fulfillment Center that has to package your package. And with that last ounce of stupidity, that's gonna have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see more videos like this in the near future, be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment down below, and if you have not already, subscribe and turn on notifications. I'll be sure to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and bye bye.